Anonymous Positive Nonsense. Aqua Method Podcast. Nonconformist Positive Nonsense. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy GP, and you're rocking with me on the Aqua Method Podcast. And as always, you can find me on Twitter, Grasshopper GP, Instagram, Grasshopper GP, both of which spelled normally, no special characters, numbers, emojis, underscores, anything crazy like that. It's just Grasshopper GP on the Instagram and the Twitter. Send me an email at grasshoppergp at yahoo.com for any types of sponsorships advertisements or you just have something nice to say about the podcast i really appreciate it thank you to everybody who's liking and viewing and checking out my videos i really appreciate it i can't tell y'all that enough um if you check it out just one time it means a lot to me if i get just one view it means the world to me so please keep checking it out hit that like button hit that subscribe button share it to your friends share it to anybody you think might want to check it out um you are listening to this on Grasshopper GP Official. That's the YouTube channel. That's Grasshopper with three S's because when I made the account, I couldn't spell. Grasshopper GP Official with three S's is the YouTube account. Only three S's in the YouTube account. Only the other accounts have just two, like a normal uh, human spelling. Um, Yeah, man. Again, I uh, really appreciate everybody rocking with me and uh, checking out the show and checking out the um the podcast. I really appreciate it. Um. Solo again for this episode. I'm by myself. Uh, um, but unlike the last episode, I'm by myself on purpose. The last episode, I was just running late and I couldn't find nobody who wanted to rock out with me. So um, I, di- I just didn't get anybody. But for this one, I'm solo because I just wanted I just wanted you guys to get my uh, I wanted you guys to get my opinion unadulterated and un. Uh, unfiltered and you know uh, straight from me and uh, I, don't, I didn't want to get the perspective of other people I just wanted you to get mine now, I'm not saying like that uh, other people's perspective are is less valuable um, or anything like that because I got plenty of friends who I love to talk to and, and who I love to have on the show that's why they're on the show but uh, I just wanted you to get my take 100% from me you know what I mean no uh, no shift in perspective or anything like that just just one hundred percent for me, and what I want to talk about is the um, the uh, the tragedy that happened in Orlando, and um, I wanted to talk about it because I I have an opinion and I have a platform with which I can uh, display that opinion. It's not a big platform. I hope hopefully it gets bigger uh, as as time goes on, but it's not a big platform, but it's still a platform, and I have. Um, and through the magic of technology and, and, and the fortune of my current and me, be, me being alive when I am alive in the 21st century in 2016, I can, uh, you know, I can just press a button and get, uh, get my thoughts out there to you, find folk and, um, and say what I want to say. So, uh, I wanted to talk about, it's funny because it's the, uh, the Aquamethod podcast started almost a year ago. And uh, the first episode of the Aquamitha podcast was um, was in response to the Lafayette shooting that happened in my uh, adopted home of Lafayette, Louisiana. Uh, a gunman came into um, one of my fav- favorite places here, the Grand 16 movie theater, and shot it up, shot up a, um, an, a, an auditorium up, um, and uh, a, a, you know a bunch of people were hurt and. Um, Two people, two ladies, lost their lives, unfortunately, and uh, and I I wanted to do the podcast before that. I had you know I was making plans to you know finally get it up and running and stuff like that. But um, that tragedy happened, and I was compelled, and I felt like saying something about it. So unfortunately, the Aqua Method podcast started on a uh, uh, on a sour note, and then the second episode got that was a real intro. And all that stuff, but um, uh, almost a year later, um, another tragedy happens in which a bunch of innocent people lose their lives because a guy has a gun and just wanted to do bad things. Um, it's and it's it's a shame, and I feel and I want to say I'm gonna say it a bunch of times throughout this episode, but I want to say, you know, peace to the um, rest in peace to the people. Who lost their lives and peace to their families, man. I can't imagine that level of pain. And 
and, I, and I, my condolences, and I'm, I feel so sorry for you, and I, and I um, hope that uh, you find the strength somewhere to uh, to carry on. And um, but it's a shame, it's a it's a terrible, terrible, terrible event that happened. And uh, but there's so many layers to it, right? There's so many so many directions we can go with it, right? Is it is it a religious thing? Is it homophobia? Is it just is it mental instability? Is it is it uh, depression? What is it? What caused this to happen, right? Well, let's 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 tackle them, right? Um, now, people who know me, and I'm not shy about it, and I'm not ashamed of it. I want I want it to be clear. Um, I was raised in a Christian home, uh, particularly Catholic, um, but. Uh, I, I myself am not very religious. I, I mean, I believe in God. I honestly and sincerely do, even though I, I, I question myself, like, why? Because, I mean, like, there's so much. Because I'm scientific. You know, I believe in science also, mathematics and black and white and, and uh, causality and stuff like that. But um, I do believe in God because I believe that God um, allows the science to occur and allow, allows such causality to be... Um, to be to to occur to happen, but uh and I and I don't I know that might sound crazy like you believe in God and you also believe in science and you believe in in, in mathematics and 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 common sense and stuff like that and uh well, like yeah I mean it doesn't have to you don't have to agree with it that's just my viewpoint I'm not religious I'm not I don't go to the church all the time I, um I that's just me and I don't I don't fault anybody who's really religious and I don't fault anybody who is not religious at all. It's just that um, he's this guy. Apparently, he said something about joining the um, Islamic terrorist group, um, which will not be named on my show, not by me at least. Um, but I think that was cowardly because, uh, like, again, I'm not religious, but I know that people, I know that people find goodness from religion and I know that a lot of people find goodness from religion a lot of people a lot of good people are good people because of religion and some people are better people because they found some sort of religion in their lives and stuff like that and um I think I thought it was cowardly to have massacred these people to have harmed all these people not just in lives but ruined the lives of the people that they left behind um and, and put it on a religion. That's not fair to the other people who support this religion, who have this religion, religious background. That's not fair to them because they don't con- they don't necessarily condone that. You know, and I I just think that's it's it's cowardly to 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 have an agenda. You have an agenda. You act. You uh. You go forth and and do actions for that agenda, and then you. You say it's because of my religious beliefs, or it's because of the religious beliefs of this group that I like, or whatever. Is I think I just think it's cowardly, and I um, and I I don't I don't understand it. I just don't get it. I just wish that um, uh, I wish that he that that guy whose name will not be named on my show. I wish he didn't say he didn't put some of the responsibility of this or some of the reasoning behind this tragedy on a religion that's not fair to 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 the beautiful people who are muslim or islamic who who wouldn't hurt a fly you know um again i believe in god and for people who don't believe in god or for people who believe in a different type of god or whatever you know whatever you believe in i'm pretty sure if there is a god up there he don't want us to hurt nobody you know he don't want us to hurt each other and I don't think that um, it's not it's not our place to end life, you know, because it's so difficult to make life, you know. And like I don't care. Listen, like you you know what you was getting when you was coming in onto my show. So I apologize. It's not this won't be as funny, and I and I might even sound like on some Disneyland type shit or you know saccharine. I hope I apologize in advance. It's just you know this is what I feel like talking about. It's just like. We are, all of us, each and every one of us, me and everybody who's listening to this and everybody who ain't listening to this, we're all miracles. Like, it's so difficult to make life. Like, it's going to sound funny, but imagine, like, think about it. Like, when your daddy and your mama had sex, right, 
Your daddy shot, shot a bunch of sperm, like millions of sperms into your mama, right? But you, of all those millions of potential boys and girls, all those potential people, you were the one that survived. You were the one that came out. I think that's mind-bogglingly mind -boggling, amazing, you know, because, like, I could have been something different. I could have been a girl. I could have been a different boy. I could have been a twin. You know, I could have I could have been whatever, you know. But I'm a miracle because of like I'm a one in a million chance, you know? Like and like everybody who's listening to this and everybody who's not listening to, not listening to this is is a miracle. Like we're miracles. Like so nobody has the right to take no one has the right to mend to end a miracle. You know? And that's what that guy did. That guy ended over 40 miracles, you know, beautiful people who just wanted to have some fun at a nightclub. And who knows what those people could have become? Who knew, Who knows what those people were? Who who know? Who knows what those people were? You know, like who knew? Those they could have been. They could they could have done bad things. They could have done great things. Uh, you know, but like they, but they had the potential to do amazing things each and every one of them and now and nobody will ever know what they could have been um and it's a shame like i said i feel so sorry for the for the people that they left left behind you know because now they have to you know it was just their time to go but and but it'll never it'll never not hurt you know it'll never it'll never get over it completely you know because when when a person I mean I don't know nobody I know nobody I care about has been murdered thankfully but I imagine that it would like people I care about have passed away my grandpa passed away you know um my my grandmother's sister passed away you know you know people people my grandmother's brother you know like older people and when when it happens like that it feels it still hurts you when you see them you know, and they're not moving, and and, 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 and and you just think about the good times you had. Even if you had some bad times, you think about those two, and, but, like, you just, you just face with a realization that there won't be any more times, good or bad, right? But when it happens like that, when it happens when they're old and they go slowly, it feels, I, like, I mean, this is my opinion, it feels better. It feels natural, right? But when a life is snatched from from the universe, if you and so abrupt, you know, there's no, there was no gradual, there's no saying goodbye, there's no, you know, like, you know, and I, and that's a shame. Like people should at least get a chance to, you know, you know, like, but like that's just life, man. That's just how it is. And I, I really think about that lady whose son texted her. Apparently, I think he was hiding in the bathroom, and he was texting his mom. Like, this guy is killing people, and um, I'm hiding in the bathroom, and the guy goes into the bathroom, and he says to his mom, I'm going to die. I mean, like, I can't imagine that. Like, I'm not, I don't have a, I don't have a child. I don't have children yet. Um, hopefully, at some point, I do, but I don't have children yet. But I, I am somebody's child, and I can't imagine the, 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 the absolute despair that my mom would feel if I was texting, if I texted something like that. You know, the helplessness, the fear. You know, like I can't imagine that level of pain. So I just want to say, um, again, I, I'm gonna say it a hundred times. Like I, I feel sorry for y'all. My absolute, sincere, and honest condolences go to y'all. And I, I, it's just tragic and it's a shame. It's really depressing, and um, I just wish it didn't happen. And like, like that, that guy was a coward, and he. And he and he want to put it on religion, and, and that's not fair to the other Muslims and other Islamic people because, like, like I said, there's a lot of bad. I mean, like, there's a lot of people who go too far with religion. You know, I'm not talking about the people who go to church five days a week. I'm not talking about those people. I mean, like, that's I mean, like, that's not crazy. There's people who take religion to a whole nother level, who. I honestly don't think that no deity, whatever you believe in, God, Allah, Buddha, whoever, whoever you believe in, whatever it is you believe in, or if you don't believe in anything, whatever, 
no, they whatever is up there or not up there, whatever, don't want us to hurt each other. Okay, I don't think we like. I don't want us to hurt each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wish we just didn't hurt each other. Like, it sounds again. I know I sound like some Disneyland type shit, ABC Family type shit. I just wish we didn't hurt each other. Stop killing people. You know what I'm saying? Stop killing folk. You know, everybody, again, we're all miracles. We deserve the right to go in our old age. You know, we deserve the right to, to, to make the world a better place. That's what we're here for, I think. Now, I'm not talking about some, some macro scale, like, you know, to trying to save the environment. Being, making the world a better place can be just, a, just simple enough as making yourself better. You know, not hurting people. Simple, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, making the world a better place would be, like, one less person causing another person pain. You know what I mean? That makes the world a better place. If if one, if we all just took, if we all just thought out things, like, if I, I want to hurt this person, but I won't. Like, right there, the world is a slightly, slightly better place. You know what I'm saying? You just want to, you know, take care of your family. Just being a good husband or a good father, a good mother, good wife to your your, your kids, to your family. Just being a good person could is, it make, it makes the world a better place, you know. Um, I'm trying my hardest to make the world a better place. That's my goal. That's my life. That's my dream. I want to leave something on this planet that will last forever and, and um, that will inspire people to do better to better themselves I, like I say on the mic I've said this before and I, I've said it I'm going to keep saying it my goal in life is to I want to make people smile and clap their hands that's all I ever wanted to do with my life I want to inspire people I want to make people smile and clap their hands because if I can make if I can make something anything drawing or music or this podcast or whatever if I can make something that will make people day a little better I'm happy that's all I want to do in my life that's all I ever wanted to do was just make the world a better place by with, with with entertainment like doing making something creating something that inspires people like the things that I look at inspired me you know and um, I'm taking slowly but surely I feel like I'm taking baby steps toward that and I, and I feel like um, I'm, I'm, I'm doing that but that's what we're all here to do. We're all here to make the world a better place. And, like, that guy just made the, the world a slightly colder, a slightly more scary place. And that's, and that's not fair to the people who lost, their, who lost their friends and family, you know. But um, I don't care what you believe in, you know what I'm saying? Like, again, I believe in God, but I do not consider myself a religious man. Um, but whatever you believe in, when we're not in my opinion and that's all that's all I'm that's all I'm giving you in my opinion we're not here to hurt each other we're not we're not meant to um we're not meant to uh to to um to harm each other we're just not you know and like I'm not I'm not no religious I'm not no religious nut obviously um I'm not no bible thumper I'm not I don't, I don't do none of that it's just that's just my take on religion like believe whatever you want to believe or don't believe anything that's cool with me too you know what I'm saying I don't think you're a bad person um I just I just think that whatever you believe in hopefully you believe that killing is not the, not the answer now people people make me mad all the time like and I, and I have no problem with arguing or fighting with a person I have no issue with that but I can't see myself killing nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't see it. It's just you know, it's just it's just ridiculous to me. Like you know what I mean? Like those people, and then then there's the homophobic thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then I hear I hear things like that. Maybe this guy was gay. Maybe because he was on gay sites and stuff like that. He was scoping out gay clubs and stuff like that. And whatever. I don't care. You know? Like it's just like if he if he was if he was gay or closeted homophobic or home or homosexual or whatever I don't care that's all that confuses me you know what I'm saying like I don't got no problem with nobody you know what I'm saying gay no gay person no person it goes back to my previous point no person deserves to die by the hands of another person 
You know what I'm saying? No person deserves deserves to die in that, by the hands of another person. I don't care if you're gay. I don't care if you're transsexual. I don't care. LGBT, all that. Whatever you, whatever you want to do, you do it. Because the most important thing in life, the most important thing in life is happiness. Whatever it is you got to do to be happy, you got to do it. You know, you understand? Like, the pursuit of happiness is on the Constitution, but it, it doesn't have to be. It shouldn't have to be. That should be in a, a right that is granted to all human beings on Earth. As long as you don't hurt yourself, and as long as you don't hurt others, whatever else you want to do that will make you happy, you got to do it. You have to do it because you only get one chance at this life thing. You only get one. This is not a dress rehearsal. When it's over, it's over. You know what I'm saying? So you can't be 80 years old, looking back in your life, filled with, filled with regret, with saying, I should have did that. I should have, you know what I'm saying? If you feel like wearing a dress, wear a damn dress. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't have, don't be old and miserable and thinking to yourself, man, I should have, I, I really wanted to wear that dress. I ain't wear that dress. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever it is, I'm not trying to be funny. Like, whatever it is you want to do, you got to do it. Be happy and and F everybody who got something to say about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hope that that gay club, what it was, what it was called in Orlando Prime, whatever that club that got shot up by that, that crazy man, that lunatic, I hope that that club opens up. I hope that there's an influx of gay people going there. I'm not, because, like, don't let nobody stop you, because I, like, I, that when that guy shot up the Grand Theater, I was really sad because I love movies and I really love going to the Grand Sixteen. Um, but I still go to the movies and I'm gonna still go to the movies because I love movies and I'm, there's nothing in life that's gonna stop me from going to the movies. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I hope that I mean, don't let this crazy person make you afraid to go anywhere or to do anything. Um, be yourself, be happy, and like I make jokes about gay people all the time because I don't think anybody's above a joke. I'm not a comedian, obviously, um, but I don't think anybody's above a joke. So I hope that there's no gay people that get sensitive because I'm gonna still make fun of gay people only because I don't understand it completely. I mean, I understand the want to be happy. I mean, obviously that's the point I'm making here, but like I love women, so I can't imagine me lo loving a man, but like. If you love men, if you're a man that loves men, if you're a woman that loves women, do you be happy? I got, um, I know a beautiful woman who's a lesbian. I know a bunch of awesome people who are gay. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's just, it's just what they like. It's just what they like. You know what I'm saying? And like nobody deserves to die for it. And I'm saying as an American, especially here, but worldwide, if you like, that that should be the law, the, the universal law. If you let just let people be happy, you know what I'm saying? It's not hurting nobody. It's really not. It's not hurting nobody. And I don't understand that I really don't like people who who feel like gays or or transsexuals or whatever. That community, that group is somehow their existence is somehow lessening the value of any country. It makes no sense to me. You know, like like what if I don't know, what if what if your best friend, like, I mean, what if your, the, the, the best person you, you can imagine in, in your mind, your, your favorite person, what if that person, and you didn't like gay people, what if that person was gay? I mean, that, 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 that new information shouldn't change how you view, how you view that person previously, you know? I don't know. I feel like I'm just rambling. Because I am, I've been yapping for 24 minutes and, uh, but I don't care. Um... Yeah, so uh, and I'm, uh, that was a uh, that was a vigil in um, here in Lafayette at Park Saint Souci, and um, the only I had to work late. I really, I really wish I could have went because I really want to go. Like, I so I, I I mean, I don't. I feel like I don't support gays. I just support peace. Like I support human right to happiness. That's what I support. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to be gay, be gay. That ain't got nothing to do with me. That ain't got, I ain't got no problem with that. Do that. You know what I'm saying? I just support people who want to be happy. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want people to be happy. I want the whole world to be happy. And I know that sounds like some Disneyland shit because it's not, because perhaps it's just not our nature. Because perhaps we all, like, we, I believe in evolution. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I absolutely believe that we came from apes. And I do believe that we still got a little animalistic nature to us. You know what I'm saying? Because we are just animals. We're just highly complex, highly intelligent animals. We're just animals. And I think maybe, maybe we just meant to be, maybe we are just meant to hurt each other. I just don't. I just think that we're better than that, and I think that if we can, if we could just cut out that part of us, the the want and the want to hurt each other, that that we, the whole world would be better, you know. And like, and I I'm a big fan. I was when the Dark Knight Rises. It's not the Dark Knight Rises. When the Dark Knight came out, the Batman movie came out. Uh, the Joker was like. Um, when the chips are down, people will eat each other. That's absolutely true. So I hope I don't sound like a hypocrite and then the, and then the apocalypse comes and I got to, you know, start killing people to save my own skin. But, but like, I think, I just think we can all be better. You know, I just, I just honestly think we can all be better. And, um, and I, I wish that I just, just, we just need peace. You know, it sounds sounds saccharine and sounds lame, but we just need peace. We just really need peace. That's all. You know, universal um, peace and hope. You know, that's that's those are things that that should never be stripped stripped from any uh, from anybody. Peace and hope. You know, that's that's bad people out there. I don't know what makes makes them bad. Like, what happened to this person? What hurt this person to make this person want to hurt others? You know, it's just confusing. And then and then there's a the whole gun law thing. That's a whole nother thing, man. That's a whole nother. That's a whole nother thing. I don't understand. Like, like gun laws and because there's there's, there's um. Valid points on either side of the of the aisle, right? Of either side of the argument, you know, like if you if you restrict gun sale, right? If you if you try to try to halt guns being purchased, then you uh, the criminals don't follow the rules anyway. So bad people are going to get weapons regardless. You know what I'm saying? And everybody, especially I mean I'm I'm an American. Like so, I'm only talking from my perspective, but we have the right to defend ourselves and to protect ourselves and our families. You know, so the bad people are going to get the weapons anyway. So weapons should be allowed to be purchased legally. But it, I, I don't know, like, cause I, I mean, I don't know. Because if if I have a family, and I have and some and a bad person wants to come in and 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 harm them, I feel like I am justified in whatever whatever t- steps I take to protect myself and protect my family. If that means the the ending of another person, then that's just how it is. But I'm not. But that is different from actively going out and pursuing people. You know, going. I mean, this was premeditated this was this was thought out what happened in Orlando he wasn't defending himself he wasn't defending anybody um so 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 you can't restrict gun sales i i don't think you should restrict gun sales you should stop gun sales but it should be harder to get guns from mentally unstable people but like, I don't. Was this guy really mentally unstable? Because I mean, you would think. I mean, obviously, you think that it's wrong to kill, to kill people. So that I mean, so but wrong doesn't necessarily equate insanity or craziness. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like wrong could just be wrong. It, like killing is just wrong. It doesn't necessarily have to be crazy. You know. So like, so I mean, a person can be so. What I'm saying is a person a person can be perfectly sane, purchase a gun and still kill somebody. It's, it's just more it's meticulous, it's thought out, it's planned. So so trying to restrict it I mean like it that'll just be 
that'd just be too difficult. I think it'd be near impossible to 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 not sell guns to to mentally unstable people. You know what I mean? Like I don't think that would help anything because I think sane people would just be would be just as bad, if not worse. So um, you will not get any any answers from me as far as gun control. People far smarter than me with far more experience in that area in that arena have are having trouble with that debate. But I don't think it's a I don't think I do not think that what happened in Orlando was a a religious thing. He could that guy could have put it on religion if he wants to. He was just a bad person who did a very, very bad thing. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? Like if it was a Christian who would have did it if it was a Hindu or whatever? That's just that. That would just be circum. That would just be circumstantial. That would just be. That would be just something. That would be a footnote on that person. Like he was a white Muslim, or he was a black Christian, or he was a he was a Middle Eastern uh, Muslim, whatever you know. It doesn't matter. It, 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 these are just adjectives. He was a bad person who did a bad thing. That's the most important, the simplest adjectives. We could we could add more and more qualifiers to the, to this to this person or to to any bad person. But at the end of the day, they're just bad people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want I don't want his I don't want people to think that all Muslims would do that. I mean, obviously, I don't think people do that though. I don't think people really look at it like that. I don't like so what what you guys think, man? Y'all just let me know in the comment section below. Um what y'all what y'all think. I don't think it's a Muslim issue. I don't think it's a homophobic issue. I just think he was just a bad guy who did a bad thing. And it's awful. Um it might maybe it was I it's Maybe it was a homophobic issue. Maybe he just had some problem, some sort of psychological problem with gays. I don't know. But then there's, you know, rumors that he might have been gay himself. Like, I don't know. Whatever it, but that's, see, this confusion, this cognitive dissonance that I'm going through is only because he was just bad. Simple and clean. S simple and clean. The man was just bad. And he did something horrible. You know, that's all it is to it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I, I and I hope that that uh, you know there's no more witch hunts on on Muslims, um, you know, because like I know I, I know a few Muslims that are beautiful people. You know what I'm saying? Like and and who are who are devout in their religion and who care and. It's just, but like, I don't, none of them, I don't think any of them take whatever they believe in that serious enough to want to kill people. There are, there are fanatics in every religion. And I don't think, and you don't need, and you could be not religious and still be a dangerous person. You know, like, bad knows no religion. And bad knows no uh, orientation. Bad is bad, and uh, I just wish we could be better people. The world just needs peace, man. And I'm tired of seeing shootings. I'm tired of seeing killings and shooting and mass shootings and all that stuff, man. And the, and the most, you know, most frightening part of it is it could happen at any time. It could happen at any time, anywhere. You just so you gotta. If you're a religious person, you gotta pray. If you're not religious, you gotta hope. You know, you gotta hope that you get to live to see another day. You know, because there are people out there who who just who are just bad, who just want to cause chaos, man. You know what I'm saying? And like, and it's interesting because a lot of these a lot of these people either kill them kill themselves or get killed, and so you don't even get to see the you don't even get to see the pain that you're causing. You know, you just and that's you don't even get to answer for your crimes. You don't even get to get you don't even get to get punished. You know, nobody, you don't even get, the people who feel the most hurt don't even get to see the people, the person who caused that pain get punished for it. You know, and that's a shame because there's no closure. It's just like somebody just gives you, somebody just gives you five tons of hurt 
and just walks away. <laughs> you know? Just disappears. Like, here's all this pain. Here's the worst, worst psychological to the so so psychologically hurtful that it caused you physical pain. Here's this, and I go away. And 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 the and the person who causes this massive amount of trauma disappears. There's no closure in that, and there's no fairness in that, and it's not. And it's, a, it's, it's a shame. You know, but but um, again, I'm not I'm not religious, but um, I do tap my knees and I do and I do pray. Um, and I hope to see another day. I hope to see as many days as I'm allowed to see. Honestly, you know, there's so many things, and, it's, and the world is beautiful, and there's beautiful people in it. I think there's more good people than bad people by a large stretch, by a large ma majority. And there's so many good things that I haven't seen and I want to see, man. So I do pray and I hope to see, I hope to see, um, I hope to see another day. You know, I hope I get to talk to you fine people as much as possible. I hope that, you, I hope I don't bore you too much, you know, with this episode and I hope I don't depress you. And um, I just want to see everything, all the beautiful things this world has to offer, man. You know, and I and I think that I, I I'm thankful for the 28 years I've got to I've gotten to experience. And I'm thankful for all the people I've gotten to meet in my travels and in my life. You know, um, the you know I've you know the beautiful people that I've argued with and fought with and worked with and laughed with and cried with and all that good stuff. All the people, everybody. You know, because you I, I view life as a book, just with no words and no cover. And you know, life's a book, and these people. Are characters in it you know some people stay in your life for a chapter some people stay in your life for a volume some people stay in your life for a paragraph or sentence you know but everybody you meet is a character in your life and they're there for a reason you, you I meet I've met these people for a reason you know and um, and tragedies like this kind of makes me think like like me and my ex-girlfriend is going through some things and um, but like I'm glad that I, I got to meet her, and I'm glad the time that um, I got to spend, I, got, I had to spend with her, even the bad times, you know, because at least I had the times with her, you know. That sounds I don't know. For all the people, you know, like I got um, my ex roommates. I don't talk to them um, a lot anymore. But I'm glad that for the times that I got to talk to him, I'm glad for the times I got to speak to him. You know, because like I said, this is this is life, man. This is not a dress rehearsal. When it's, when, it, when it's over, it's over, and there's bad people out there, so it can be over at any time. So you just gotta stay, you gotta stay prayed up, as uh, some people say. Or you, if you don't pray, you gotta you gotta hope. You know, that's the same thing. You just not you're just not going to a deity. You know. Whatever you believe in or whatever you don't believe in, you just got to hope that you get to see another day. And when, when, and since you're given that opportunity to see another day, you got to do something that makes the world a better place. And again, like, I'm not talking some big thing like try to save the whales. I'm just saying, like, whatever it is, something small, you know, make the world a better place. That is our duty. And I hope that more people do it than, than don't do it, you know. I hope more people try to make the world a better place than not, you know, and um, I have a, I'm a big, as you may have known by the many episodes of the Aquamethic Podcast, I am a big comic book reader, I have a large comic book collection, um, so I'll be selling my comic books, uh, um, the, my old comic books, you know, for, for a small fee, and uh, I plan, my plan is... There's a, a GoFundMe page on um, on on the internet uh, in support for the Orlando tragedy. So what I plan on doing is 50% of everything that I make from this, these comic book sales will go to the Orlando thing. Um, that's my plan. That's what I want to do. Um, maybe more, um, but I'm thinking about 50% of everything I make from this thing is going to... Uh, is going to the Orlando thing, and um, 
you know, and I hope, and, and it's funny because a tragedy happens and people are upset about it and people discuss it for about a week, two weeks, maybe a month at the most, and then on to the next tragedy. And, uh, but this, this one was big, man, like 50 people, you know what I'm saying? Who were just dancing and having fun. I assume, you know, it's a, it's a nightclub. I'm, I'm sure they were just having a good time. This guy comes in with a, with a war weapon, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> with a, with a, with a military gun and just start spraying, you know, and it's, it's, it's awful. So, I, and, and, I, and that level of, that level of confusion, I just, I just want to do something. So, and so, um, and it is a good ex excuse to get rid of these comic books that are taking up space in my apartment. So, um, I can, uh, I'm, uh, 50% of what I make from, from them, I'm going to give to the Orlando thing. Um, I hope I just can make enough uh, before, you know, this, the GoFundMe thing goes away or whatever. But I'll figure something out. I'm sure that's like, I'm, I don't know if there's a Red Cross or anything like that for it. But I'll figure something out. But that's my plan. So if you see me with a big old box of comic books, you know, give me a, give me some money. And uh, know that half of the money that you give me will go to, um, to, uh, the Orlando thing. And if you want to donate money and not buy comic books, that's cool too. If you if you just give me money, all the money goes to the Orlando thing. You know, but if you take one of my books and, you know, half of it, only half of it will go to um, the Orlando situation. That's my plan. That's my goal. That's what I'm thinking about doing. Um, so, yeah, another short solo episode. It was just my take on the Orlando thing. I hope I wasn't rambling. I probably said the same thing over and over. I apologize. That's just my thing. Um, I just wanted to say that I'm really sorry. Uh, to um, I, My condolences, my heart goes out to the people who lost their family members, who lost friends. You know, it's not fair. I, I, I feel you. I, I, wish, I wish you strength to carry on. I wish you, um, I wish you well. And I hope that you... Um, I hope I hope that you can uh, move on. You'll never forget, but I hope that you can move on in some kind of way. And uh, rest in peace to the people who lost their lives, and uh, peace to their families. Um, I don't think it's a religious issue. Uh, it's not a Muslim issue. Um, it's just it's a bad person issue. It 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 is a gun issue. It's a bad person issue. But you know you just gotta hope for the best. You know you just gotta walk out whenever you walk out that door you just gotta hope that you can walk back in it you know that's all you can do um that's all that's the best you can do is hope and or pray you know whatever it is you do hope for the best man that's all you can do that's all you can do hope for the best you know try to make the world a better place whatever however you can you know number one and and finally be happy be happy happy don't hurt yourself don't hurt others everything else is cool whatever it is whatever you got to do be happy that is your right that is your duty as um as not not as an american but as a human being your right is to be happy and your duty is to be happy because you got like i said you got one chance of this thing and i promise you i promise you nothing will come between me and my happiness not anything not any solid, not one thing in life will come between me and my happiness. Because I, I mean, I can't, I, I refuse to live a life filled with regret. You know what I'm saying? I refuse to do that. So whatever it is you got to do to make sure that you can look back at your life and smile, do that. Whatever it is. Love whoever you want to love. Don't let nobody stop you. Um... And don't be afraid to go out and have fun. Don't be scared. You know, because, I mean, bad people are out there. You can't stop them. You just got to hope for the best, like I said. But don't ever, don't let nothing come between you and your happiness. Don't be don't be afraid of life. Love whoever you want to love. Because yeah, um, that's what I'm going to do. So I hope you can do it too. I'm done rambling. <laughs> Thank y'all for letting me rock out. Thank y'all for letting me ramble. And I'm, there will be video 
soon. There will be another guest soon. You won't just have me yapping at you for the next episode of the Aquaman Podcast. Um, I love all of you. Honestly and sincerely, I really appreciate you rocking out with me. I really appreciate you letting me talk my shit on this microphone. Me la, me she. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Thank y'all for letting me rock out, man. Thank y'all for letting me um, do my thing, man. Uh, I really appreciate all the support. Grasshopper GP is the Instagram. Grasshopper GP is the Twitter. Both of them are spelled normally. G R A S S H O P P E R G P. Instagram and Twitter. Send me an email at grasshoppergp at yahoo.com for any types of sponsorships, advertisements, or if you just have something nice to say about the podcast. I really appreciate it. Honestly, sincerely, I really do. Um, you are listening to this on Grasshopper GP Official. That's Grasshopper with three S's because when I made the account, I couldn't spell. Grasshopper GP Official with three S's is the YouTube account. Only the YouTube account has three S's in it um, unless I just misspell another account uh, in the future. It's the Aqua Method Podcast. Y'all be good is what I say at the end of the podcast on every episode. I say that because I really want y'all to be well. I want y'all to be good people. I want y'all to be um, to be happy. And uh, I honestly love all you guys. And, and I, I really honestly thank y'all for letting me, um, for letting me do this. Because if nobody listened... Um, I probably wouldn't do it, you know, what, what would be the point, I really appreciate, so every time I see that number go up on that views thing, I appreciate every one of y'all, every one of y'all views, whoever looked at it, and whoever follows me on Twitter, on Instagram, I could make the podcast, I really appreciate it, and I can't tell y'all that enough, so yeah, um, what else I wanted to say, oh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, um, tell your friends, tell your um, tell your dog, tell your cat, tell whoever you want to tell, uh, share it to everybody. Um, it's the Aqua Method Podcast. It's your boy GP. Peace, love, hope, happiness. Y'all be good. <laughs>